Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samir Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa performed Friday prayers at the Sakhir Palace Mosque. Also performing the prayers with His Majesty the King were a number of their Highnesses and royal family members. The prayer were performed following directives from His Majesty the King to open a number of mosques to perform the Friday prayers, Taraweeh and Qiyam. His Majesty the King and the worshippers listened to the Friday prayer ceremony delivered by the President of the Sunni Endowment Council, Sheikh, the Sheikh Dr. Rashid bin Muhammad al Hajri, during which he spoke about the virtues of the holy month of Ramadan and the keys to goodness and forgiveness in it. He also extended his heartfelt thanks to His Majesty the King for His Majesty's generous directives to reopen the mosques to perform Friday prayers and Taraweeh prayers as well as Qiyam. He also expressed thanks to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Bahrain team led by His Royal Highness for their noble humanitarian efforts in combating the corona pandemic to maintain the health, safety and security of citizens and residents. He wished Bahrain further security, safety and stability, as well as prosperity, under the leadership of His Majesty the King. للصلاة من يوم الجمعة فاسعوا إلى ذكر الله وذروا البيع ذلكم خير لكم إن كنتم تعلمون كيف لا نفرح بفضل الله وقد تفضل الله علينا بولي أمر قد أجر الله على يديه ما تقدم من الأنعام والأفضال فجزاه الله عنا خير الجزاء وثقل بما وجه به وأمر موازين حسناته وجعلها شاهدة لجلالته يوم القيامة بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن والسنة ونفعني وإياكم بما فيهما من الآيات والذكر والحكمة أقول ما تسمعون وأستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين من كل ذنب وخطيئة فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم عباد الله صلوا وسلموا رحمكم الله على من أمركم ربكم بالصلاة والسلام عليه فقال إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى أزواجه وذريته وارض اللهم عن الخلفاء الراشدين الأئمة المهديين والصحابة أجمعين والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين واجعل هذا البلد آمنا مطمئنا سخاء رخاء وسائر بلاد المسلمين اللهم إنك إذا استودعت أمرا حفظته فاللهم إنا نستودعك بلادنا مملكة البحرين نستودعك ملكها وقائد نهضتها نستودعك أمنها وإيمانها نستودعك أرضها وسماءها نستودعك أهلها اللهم اصرف عنا الوباء والبلاء اللهم عافنا من جميع الأسقام والآلام اللهم وفق ولي أمرنا لما تحبه وترضاه اللهم بارك له في عمره وصحته وعافيته اللهم انصره وولي عهده رئيس وزراءه اللهم وانصر بهما دينك وكتابك وسنة نبيك صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم وفق جميع القائمين على شؤون صحتنا اللهم وانصر رجال أمننا المرابطين على الثغور في كل مكان اللهم كن لهم معينا ونصيرا ومؤيدا وظهيرا اللهم وتقبل منا صيامنا وقيامنا اللهم اغفر لوالدينا ولوالد والدينا عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون فاذكروا الله العلي العظيم يذكركم واشكروه على عموم نعمه يزدكم ولذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون
under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, Honorary President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The competition of the late His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Hamad Al Khalifa for purebred Arabian horses commenced at the Military Sports Federation Square in Rafah. The first day competitions were held with the participation of a wide range of stables, owners and breeders. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa affirmed that the championship of the late His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Hamad Al Khalifa for purebred Arabian horses is considered one of the important competitions in the history of horse beauty, which is an indication of the series of successes achieved in the past years. His Highness said that the sport of horse beauty is linked to an original historical legacy and represents an important aspect of the tradition of equestrian sport and enjoys the attention of His Majesty the King. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa noted that the Kingdom of Bahrain is considered one of the leading countries in the field of Arabian horses and Bahrain is proceeding with this approach and introducing successive generations to the identity and history of the horse. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa praised the efforts of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, headed by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and the organizing committee of the championship and their keenness to create an ideal atmosphere for the participants, wishing every success to all the participants. The competitions will continue up until the end of today and will witness a wide range of participation. The Minister of Interior General, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, held a virtual meeting with the United States Secretary of Homeland Security, Alejandro Mayorkas, with the Chief of Public Security, Lieutenant General Tariq bin Hassan Al Hassan, and Bahrain's Ambassador to the U.S., Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, in attendance. The Minister hailed the bilateral ties and highlighted the importance of exchanging expertise. The meeting reviewed methods to develop homeland security cooperation and future cybersecurity cooperation projects to face the current security challenges. The U.S. side proposed the signing of two agreements in the areas of cybersecurity and human trafficking. The meeting also discussed security topics of mutual interest. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman bin Tawfiq al muayyad chaired the meeting of the Board of Directors of the HOPE Fund to support youth projects and initiative. The HOPE Fund was launched for the aim of supporting Bahrain's youth potential, ambitions and creative initiatives to set up their businesses and companies as well as serve their community. The Youth Minister extended thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for appointing them to run the Youth Fund. The panel discussed ways to monitor Bahraini youth skills and competencies, as well as discovering, honoring and highlighting youth talent in addition to enabling the youth to continue achieving success and contributing to the national economy. The board also discussed devising plans to involve the national competencies in all sectors so as to be strategic partners in preparing as well as shedding light on the outstanding achievements and motivating the achievers. It also discussed the working plan for the coming period and its implementation mechanisms. The members exchanged proposals and ideas on the best methods to achieve the HOPE Fund's goals. A number of mosques in the Kingdom of Bahrain witnessed the performance of Friday prayers on the first Friday of the blessed holy month of Ramadan after a break of nearly a year due to Corona pandemic. The worshippers expressed gratitude to His Majesty the King for his directives to open the mosques, stressing their commitment and following all the necessary precautionary and preventative measures that were developed to address the Corona pandemic. The national vaccination campaign continues in the kingdom to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 582,461 had taken the first dose of the COVID vaccines, while 445,862 had received the second dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today 
that the number of coronavirus cases reached 11,199, with 1,066 recoveries, 972 registered new cases. 417 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 517 are contacts of active cases, and 36 are travel-related. The ministry also announced the death of two citizens, a male aged 46 and a female aged 46. The ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.